Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube and everything's in the description if you want to see. Um, I do all the Wico problems I've done. I don't know how many at this point. I'm doing a ton of them, so just check them out on my channel if you like anything that's explained to you. Um, doing all the tree ones today, just getting them completely done. Just trees I want to have done. Um, I think they're a pretty easy problems. So. This one is easy. It's called Univalued Binary Tree. Uh, it's just a binary tree is univalued if every node in the tree has the same value. So we see here there's a tree with all ones, so that would be univalued. Return true if and only true if and only if the given tree is univalued. So uh, yeah, we get a tree node, a root, and we just tr basically traverse the tree. And if we find a node that is different than what the other nodes' values are, uh, it's going to be false. And if every node has the same value, it's going to be true. Um, we've done a lot harder tree problems here, so this really isn't anything too difficult. We basically just want to do recursive calls as we traverse the tree, just like any other problem. And we want to make sure that the root, so the current root, has the same value as its left child and right child. So we're going to do this. This is a method we used in a different one, so we'll do left univald as a boolean um, to make sure the left is univald. And if we see a null node, that doesn't count, right? We see a null, it doesn't count as different than the other ones, right? So the first thing we're going to want to do in this left boolean is say root.left equals equals null, because or, and then we'll do our other uh, conditions, because if it's null, that's automatically true. It's univ it is, it will count as univald if it's null. So it, so the left, making sure the left side is univald will either be the root left is a null, or the root.left.val has to be equal to the root.val. So the current node has to be equal to the left node. And we also want to do this check on the rest of the left side too. So it's the recursive call on the rest of the left side. So the Boolean, that's the Boolean. It's going to be the same for the right side. So we'll have the right univald equals to root.right equals equals null because that is univald or root.right.val is equal to equal to root.val and and is unival tree on the root.right side. So we just do recursive calls on the left and right side and then these booleans will they'll recurse on the left and right all the way through the whole tree and then all we have to do is return the combination of these booleans. So if the left is univald and we recursed everything and the right is univald. So if they're both univald on both sides then we just return a combination of both and and is good because if they're both true, that's going to be true. And if one of them is false, it's going to be false. So if one of the sides isn't univald, then we're going to be returning false, which is what we want. But if the whole thing's univald, then we're going to return true, which is what we want. So, so this, was, this one's easy. It's easy. It's a lot easier than some of the other problems we did. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about the explanation in the comments below. And check out the other ones because I'm explaining them all. So thanks, guys, for watching. And I'll see you next time.